Welcome back to Northwest Kids Church. I'm Nadia. And I'm Pastor Grace. Intro! talking about identity. That means, who are we? What? That's right. All month we are talking about our identity. We're learning about who we are and what God says about us. So last week we spoke about how God made us. And so today we're going to be talking more about our identity. First, we're going to be going over our memory verse moment. Yeah. Then we're going to be learning, um, we're going to be hearing from the Westervelts. They've got the family small group time. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more and we're going to pray together. How's that sound? Mm -hmm, that sounds great. Let's get to it. This month's memory verse is Galatians 2 20. Which is, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, let's try you guys saying it after me. Want to? Sure. I have been crucified with Christ. I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live. And I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. But Christ lives in me. The life I now live. The life I now live. In the body. In the body. I live by faith. I live by faith. In the Son of God. In the Son of God. Who loved me. Who loved me. And gave himself for me. And gave him, gave himself for me. Good job. Anything else you want to do with my reverse? How about we say it backwards? Go for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Great job, guys. Good job. So we are talking about what are we gonna identity. All month long. We are covering things like I was made, I was wrong. I am saved and I am adopted into God's family. So last week we talked about how God made us. He is such a wonderful creator. He made each one of us and that's a huge part of our identity and how we are made. Do I talk with my hands? <laughs> so, but that means that this week we are talking about I was wrong. That might seem like a silly thing to talk about, but it is such an important thing to remember about who we are because it really affects the way that we relate to God and the way that we think about God's love. And the thing is that all of us, we mess up and that we do things that are wrong. And it's so important to remember that because Jesus loves us and he loved us even when we were wrong and when we do the wrong things. Wow. Anytime we do something that is not what God wants us to do or anytime we do something that is unloving to someone else, maybe it's something that we do or something that we say or something that even that we think. All of those things can be sins when we do them and they're not honoring God and they're not loving other people, then that's a sin and that's when we do something that is wrong. And the thing about it is we need to be able to admit it when we're wrong. We need to be able to say, I messed up, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I don't want to do it again. We need to be able to say that to the people that we hurt. We need to be able to admit it to like your parents or your teachers. And we need to be able to admit that to God. We can come before God and say, God, I messed up. I did the wrong thing. Please forgive me. Please help me to change. And that will affect the way that we see ourselves, the way that we feel about ourselves so, so much. Because we could just always think, I'm just a good person, right? I'm just a good person all the time, and I'm a really good kid, but sometimes other people are mean to me, and that makes me be mean, but uh, it wasn't my fault, right? Or, well, I was just tired, or I was just hungry, or I was just frustrated, but it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault that I said those mean things. It wasn't my fault that I was so angry that I couldn't punch something. <gasps> no, we need to realize, 
oh yeah, I was wrong. Because there's something really, really freeing about that. When we can just admit, I was wrong, please forgive me, please help me change. So Nadia, is it ever difficult to admit that you're wrong? Oh no! Yeah, well, especially when I'm fighting with my brother and sister, um, I, I just blame it on them because I don't want to get in trouble. And, it, and then after the fight, after we're like all... <laughs> Once the fight's over and you've kind of made up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think about, I, it just, I just think about um, Adam and Eve in the garden and after they ate the fruit and God was looking for them. And, and, they, and then once he found them, what did they say? What was their response? There's, they, they just blamed it on each other and they didn't tell anybody. It, they didn't tell him that it was their fault. Mm. They just said, said, she did that, he did that. Wow. And that's what I do with my brother and sister and then I mm. repent. Wow. Yeah, I think it's so easy, especially when someone has hurt our feelings and we're in um, an argument with them, it's so easy to only see what they've done wrong, right? It's so easy to see when other people are wrong, but it is harder sometimes to see when we are wrong, or maybe it's just harder to admit it when we're wrong. So something that I have noticed about you is that when you were much younger, you used to have a pretty hard time admitting when you were wrong or, or telling the truth and you try to cover it up a little bit. And now you're like, one of the most truthful girls I know and you will tell me that you did something wrong or even thought something wrong and what do you think what do you think changed in you um so after I got baptized I just I just felt like I needed to tell everybody what I like tell you or or daddy what um I done that made things go wrong mm -hmm. or like or what I should have done, or, yeah. Wow, that's really cool. So when you were baptized, something really changed in your heart. That's so cool. You know what, um, actually, Joel, your cousin, Joel McCubbin, he said to all of the kids' church one Sunday, he said when he was baptized, he felt like it was like repenting, like all the old stuff that was on him, he was like free and washed clean of it. That's really, really cool. So. Wow. Let's go to the family small group time. When we come back, we're going to talk more about repenting and being free and being clean and that awesome, that awesome experience um, of receiving God's forgiveness and what that feels like and what that's like. So, but for now, let's go to our family small group time with the Westervelts. Miles and Carl, take it away. Westervelt family trivia time. Carl, are you ready? If you get it right, you're safe. If you get it wrong, you get a pie in the face. Question one. Question one. What is daddy's favorite sport? <laughs> oh, go. Woo, you got it right. Question two. They get harder. What is daddy's middle name? Carl. You got it right! Last question. This when is Miles' birthday? March 9th. Ah! <laughs> you got it right! Carl made it through. Let's see if Miles can make it through. When is my birthday? January 12th. Huh. Nope. Pie in the face. On question one. January 18th. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question. Close your eyes. All right. The clean up. What? <laughs> what is your brother's favorite animal? Elephant. Yes, you. And. Pass question two. And. No, no and. Question three. <laughs> <laughs> what year was your brother born? What's the year? You 
thinking. Make your best guess. Three, two, one. Two thousand and nine. Close. Actually, not close. So here comes a bye. 2015. Where are we? 2015. Yeah, Ready? Three, two, bye time. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Around. It's daddy's turn. It's <laughs> All right, question one. He hit you harder than What is Miles' favorite animal? Miles' favorite animal is a balloon and no, no copy. No copy. Okay, correct, correct. Question two. What's the year that we got engaged? The year. <laughs> the year. Not the day, the year. Five. No, don't give me a countdown. Hold on. This is a video. <laughs> Five, this is what four, wives three, <laughs> two, one. And do you know it? It is. Yes! <laughs> Are we serious? Wow. You just. You. <laughs> Hi, <Kaya>. him. <laughs> All right, last question. Hardest one. That was a setup on that one. Well. You probably are gonna get this one too. What three sports did I play in high school? <laughs> what three sports over my high school career did I play? Track, cheerleading, volleyball. Oh, boo. Bonus question, bonus <laughs> round. You bonus get a round. Candy bar if you get it. How much did Miles weigh and the length when he was born? 10 pounds, 10 ounces. Length. Five, four, three, two, one. Miles pie down in the face. <laughs> and that concludes <laughs> West of <laughs> <Elf's> Family, <laughs> West of Elf Family <laughs> Trivia Time. When was a time that you needed to ask for help? Lots of times. What about you, Miles? At school, I needed help. At school, you have to prove that you're right for Jesus to love you. No. No. He loves you even if you mess up. One, what is something that Jesus has forgiven you of? Getting upset with schoolwork. Arguing with my brother. Arguing with your brother. That was so much Fun. That was a great family small group time. Yeah. So before we wrap this up with prayer, I want to ask you, Nadia, what does it feel like sometimes when you are going to um, admit that you're wrong? When you come to me and you're going to tell me that you did something wrong, what does that feel like? Well, first it feels all yucky because you know that you did it and you don't know what their response is going to be. And then once you say it, it's just like what you've done, you just, it's just off of you and it just feels so good to just get it off of you. That is awesome, I totally agree. Now, let's pray. Dear Jesus, um, thank you for everybody that's watching. Um, and um, please help them repent um, to you if they've done anything wrong. And please be with them if they feel like they need to tell anybody um, that they've done something wrong. And um, I'm just gonna name them. <laughs> Bye! Bye, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. We love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Intro! I'm not yet, by the way. Intro! <laughs> All month we've been talking about identity. That means... <laughs>